A very warm word of welcome to day seven of the Easter octave, Saturday of this week. And we continue our celebration of Easter joy. And as always, the gospel brings us into that happy place. And we have the resurrection appearances of Jesus, firstly to Mary of Magdala, and then to the disciples, enlivening them and giving them a sense of a spirit and encouraging them to go out and make disciples of everybody and spread the good news, the joy of the resurrection. There is a beautiful Easter prayer and it runs as follows. Loving Lord, today we remember the veil of darkness transforming to the brightest light. We rejoice in the most terrible end becoming the most beautiful beginning. We remember with trembling hearts the depths of despair fading to reveal hope everlasting. The curse of death is defeated by eternal life. Today we remember with thankfulness your willingness to die for our sins. We sing with great joy of your miraculous resurrection from death's tomb to resplendent life. Thank you for the promise of heaven and of your generous invitation of eternal life for us all. There is a saying that you may be the only gospel that people will ever encounter. So maybe through your smile, through your good deeds, through the happiness that you radiate as being a person of the risen Christ, may that be in your heart and your souls in what you do this day and always. Amen.